Anna de Armas is quickly becoming a big name in terms of the film industry right now. She's been in a lot of you know well-known titles, at least of you know the past couple of years. And she's joining up with Ben Affleck, who I love, for this new movie, Deep Water, which I'm I'm getting the vibe here. Um, we'll talk about the movie more in a minute, but it's very interesting to look at a lot of these Searchlight Pictures films, as this one is, I believe, a number one of theirs. The Both this one and I just looked at Fresh, they're both debuting on um, uh, the Hulu platform, which of course that makes sense because Disney owns you know, a huge share of that or that uh, platform. So, and you of course, they brand it, of course, in the Disney Plus bundle. Um, I wonder if that's going to be what it's like in the future, you know, because, it, like, well, especially, you know, given... The, the sense of theaters these days. I mean, I keep hearing it. Even into 2022, it's sort of shifting around in regard to, you know, we've got all these films that we you know, could release but might not have the biggest turnout in theaters. So going forward, is it going to be a lot of these films that are done by Searchlight Productions or Searchlight Pictures or maybe on the Fox side just go straight to streaming? I have no idea. But, I mean, it's interesting. It's, it's more, well, it's an easier way to approach the film because maybe you don't have to drive somewhere. But, um, I mean, it's fun to watch in the theater. I don't know if I'd watch this movie, though. Maybe. I'll at least... I always try to leave a door open. But from the sounds of what I'm seeing, I'm not exactly sure. Maybe this will be better materialized than another trailer because this is just the teaser trailer we're going to be looking at today. But, I don't know, I have some thoughts going in just based on what I read of the storyline. But it's a new... IMDb categorizes as a drama thriller film and also at least one of the tags as an erotic movie. That kind of pulls me away because I'm like, well, you know, I prefer cleaner watches when it comes to romance movies, so we'll see. I, I, I'm more so just about the, the relationship dynamics and the journey of love, but not necessarily the, the, well, to some extent, you know, the physical illustration, but one that doesn't necessarily go overboard. I like to keep it, you know, my tastes are very refined. This is what it says according to the synopsis. So, for, I, mean, I haven't read this in detail yet, so this will kind of give me a fuller impression. But you just, I read that tag, and I'm like, huh, how far is this going to go? This is what it says according to IMDb. Vic and Melinda Van Allen are a couple in the small town of Little Wesley. Their loveless marriage is held together only by a precarious arrangement whereby in order to avoid the uh, messiness of divorce, Melinda is allowed to take any number of lovers as long as she does not desert her family. Okay. Vic becomes fascinated with the unsolved murder of one of Melinda's former lovers, Malcolm McRae, and in order to successfully drive away her current fling, takes credit for the killing. When the real murderer is apprehended, Vic's claims are uh, interpreted by the community as dark jokes. Well, it's an interesting story. I mean, there's a bit of an element of mystery to it. Uh, I don't know how I feel. I mean, again, it, very interesting circumstances. So your your loveless marriage. I mean, well, that's sad. Um, and, you know, all marriage, well, most marriages, maybe not everybody, but, you know, well, all marriages experience conflict you know, one way or another. But it seems like the way they're stressing it, maybe it was just a marriage that has sort of just lost its luster over time. Um Maybe part of that came through, I don't know, I'm looking at, like, well, the solution doesn't necessarily, you know, because I, well, you know, me being, it's not just my personal taste thing, because when, when, I mean, speaking of the context of the synopsis we just read, they even refer to it as messy. I'm like, well, if, monogamy is far less messy, number one. Like, it's just, it's a better practical solution. But you, even from, you know, my Christian sensibilities, I'm kind of like, well, I would never recommend this type of method of counseling or, I guess, uh, rehabilitation for a you know, marriage that's sort of loveless, at least at the present moment. There's many other things to work on. Um, we'll see. Oh, IMDb also says it's based on a novel. Well, a lot of these romance movies happen to be, um, especially the ones that go a little more severe. I mean, well, let's see. I Again, I would prefer a more refined film in regard to visual taste. And from the sense of what I understand on IMDb, this may go a bit overboard. And just even the nature itself of the... The, the way it's referred to. I, I We'll see. We're going to go ahead and watch this teaser trailer first. I'll talk about it more in my condensed review segment while I was watching the video together. Here we go. Let's give it at least one lens of consideration. Why are you the only man who wants to stay with me? I don't know. I do. She seems really like 
there, there seems to be quite a substantial age difference. The Wandering Eyes. Here we go. <laughs> oh goodness, movie! Come on, keep your, keep your, you, you can. Oh. You love me. Of course. It's a little, a, a little far. And they're like, well, at least in the trailer, you know, it's sort of, you know, oh, well, I guess, green band because you don't see anything. There's something wrong with me. There's something wrong with me too. <sighs> it's kind of an awkward watch to be sitting here being like, what am I sitting through? Um. Especially on such a public lens. I'm like, I, I, I don't tend to watch these movies personally. Um, again, like I said, I prefer more refined romance films. Classier in nature than maybe it seems... Not to disrespect any of the actors here. Because again, I love Ben Affleck and Ana de Armas. I need to watch her a couple more projects. But she is, again, becoming quite a big name. Um, but I'm not really into like trashy romance novel adaptations and we've had plenty of examples before notably like 50 shades not to make a comparison here but i'm kind of like well you know the awkwardness of seeing if you're like watching that trailer um which i didn't cover at the time i wouldn't have because i never wanted to go watch those movies those are trash uh they're awful I and mean, they're, they're funny which is not supposed to be what the movies are from my understanding but they're just bad anyway it's kind of that same feeling we're seeing. Thinking, why am I like? I feel like I'm peeping in at a very private moment, and it's it just doesn't feel right. <laughs> um, well, okay. Like I said, I'm a huge Ben Affleck fan, but me, I might want to pass this one up because I don't even know the novel really. Um, and I, I'm not familiar with any of these projects by name, but maybe somebody who's very you know, talented within this space. I'm just kind of like, there's better movies out there from a cleaner perspective. So the trailer, at least I'll give that a look to see. At least this one scene, though, maybe it went a, it's a little far, but I would normally, you know, like to, it, to each their own, I guess. But still, I'm just kind of like, there's other romance movies out there that are more at my alley. Um, Maybe cleaner, too. Because, I mean, this is rated R, and it seems like it gets quite graphic maybe in some parts so we'll see i don't know yet it just again this is a first look and it's still relatively early days this isn't out until march in fact the trailer just came out yesterday as i'm looking at this this is coming out march 18th so we've got at least a little while to wait i would anticipate probably early march you're gonna get a trailer an official one because that was mostly like just one scene yeah they got to broaden it out a bit what are your guys' thoughts with to give it it's a better understanding for the project for those of us again who haven't read the book but what are your thoughts on deep water <laughs> I, I i don't know let me know what your thoughts are down below I, i'm not that optimistic this will be a watch for me but i'll leave a door open at least a crack <laughs> to, you know to the trailer we'll let if it broadens out its focus a bit it'll give a better point of understanding and advantage in regard to do i watch this film do i not but that'll come i guess with time because it's this isn't enough to judge on just yet actually if this were the only look it'd be kind of like well i don't think so i'm gonna wait till i can see some reviews to understand what the content level is because i mean if it were like a g-rated romance film or something maybe just like pg-13 that's, you know, much more up my alley. When you put the R rating on, especially with the certain tags they use, I'm kind of like, ah, I know where this is going. And I don't necessarily want to sit through and, you know, experience that with other characters. That's going to be very awkward. <laughs> Maybe it's more narratively focused. I have no idea. But either way, these are, gonna, these are going to be scenes that the film is going to touch on to certain extents. I don't know if I want to sit through it. But anyway... I'll leave the door open a little bit. But as I said, let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget all the good stuff. Like, subscribe to the sharing that bell. And until we get to watch more, perhaps, from Searchlight, maybe some better and tamer productions. I will see you guys at a point that happens to be. But for now, thanks for watching this video. I love you guys. Don't forget to love yourselves, your fellow man. God bless and peace.